Hi, I'm Jen and welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new here, I'm an artist and owner of an online shop called Fructus Illustrations where I sell stickers, memo pads, pins, and so much more. As a self-employed artist, my days are spent working from home here at my desk. I do everything here, from creating art to packing orders, from responding to customer emails to creating content. It's pretty much my one-stop shop for everything. So it's super important to me that this space feels inviting and comfortable because I spend most of my day here. But let me tell you, it wasn't always like this. I started with a tiny desk that barely fit my supplies. I was always running out of space and struggling to stay organized and it really impacted my creativity and productivity. But I'm excited to show you how my new and upgraded workspace has completely transformed my productivity and creativity. Over the past year and a half, my desk setup has slowly evolved. When I moved to Texas from Virginia in 2021, I didn't have a desk or a workspace of my own. At first, my boyfriend and I shared one, but it didn't take long for us to realize that we both needed our own space. I didn't want to spend too much money on a desk because of the recent move, so I got a tiny little one. I was happy to have my own space and more room than before, but as my small business grew, I needed an upgrade. I believe that your space can reflect your mind, and if you take a look at mine, you'll see that I love bright, colorful things, but also need order. Everything has its place and I don't even have to think about it, my hands just reach for whatever I need. That's how I stay productive. Which is why I'm absolutely thrilled to show off my brand new desk from Flexi Spots. They've got a massive selection of customizable desks to fit your unique style and workspace needs. The one I'm currently working on is their Comar standing desk with drawers and glass tabletop. It's been a real game changer. One of the things that I adore about FlexiSpot is the total control you have over choosing the perfect desk for you. You can select everything from the material to the colors and even add any accessories you might need. Putting it together was a total breeze. My boyfriend and I had it set up in just about 10 minutes. And despite sharing my workspace, this desk doesn't take much room at all. In fact, it actually opens up the space. I love that I can adjust the height of the desk easily, which is a feature I found myself using more and more. When I'm packing orders or making stickers, it's so nice to be able to move around while I work and have the desk at the standing height. Plus, there's a super convenient drawer that I use to store all of my packing materials. FlexiSpot offers an incredible selection of cost-effective desks that are designed to make your own workspace or study environment as comfortable and productive as possible. This standing desk is the best one I've ever used and I wholeheartedly recommend it to anyone looking for a budget-friendly option. Plus, with a 30-day risk-free return policy, you've got nothing to lose by giving them a try. So go check out the link in my description and use my code to get a discount. Thank you so much to FlexiSpot. When it comes to my workspace, however, it's not just about having a desk that's functional. I also want the area around it to feel cozy and inviting. For me, that means keeping things clean and organized, but also adding a touch of inspiration to keep me motivated throughout the day. And here's the thing, some people might look at the stuff I have around my workspace and think it's childish, but honestly, that's kind of the point. I've been on a journey to rediscover my love for art and creativity, and in the process I found that embracing my inner child has been really healing for me. So now as an adult, I surround myself with the things that my younger self would have loved. It just makes me happy to see those cute little figurines and plushies around my workspace. Growing up, I didn't always get to have the things I wanted, especially since I had a lot of siblings and our family wasn't always financially stable. And as the second oldest, I always felt like I had to be responsible and mature beyond my years. But now as an adult, I try to find balance by indulging in some of these little things that bring me joy. After all, it's the little things in life that can make a big difference. So let's take a tour of my studio corner and check out what I have here. First up is my art wall. Here I have many art prints from some of my favorite artists as well as some of my own art. For instance, this one is from when I was in sixth grade. I don't remember what the prompt was, but I remember having a lot of fun picking out the colors and drawing out the patterns. This one over here is from when I was in high school. The prompt for this piece was to take an object or an animal and recreate it in different styles. And these three here are from the early stages of rediscovering my passion for art. I like having my own art to look at as a reminder of where I came from and to inspire me to keep going. But like I mentioned before, it's not just my own stuff up here. I've also got a bunch of art prints that I've collected over the past couple of years. Each one serves as a reminder that there are other artists out there doing what I want to do. It helps me stay motivated, especially in those days when I start to doubt myself. Moving on to the left side of my setup, I have this mesh wall organizer from Target, and it holds some of my favorite pens, pencils, my scissors, current sketchbook, my business notebook, and some random papers. 
I also display a mini art print that my friend gifted me on my last birthday and this adorable lemon pouch from Apple Cheeks. In front of all of this, I have my printer. I use the Epson EcoTank 2850 and it's great and super efficient with ink. And I'm actually still using the ink that I came with in the box. On top of my printer, I keep some cute figurines and plushies, including my Valentine's Winnie the Pooh Funko Pop. As you can imagine, it's extra special to me since Winnie has been my favorite character since childhood and my birthday's on Valentine's Day. And on the left side here, I've got even more plushies, little crochet items, and figurines, each with their own sweet memories attached. But let's get back to my printer. Underneath it, I have these drawers that I use to store my sticker inventory and most of the supplies and materials I use to make all my paper goods for my shop. Now, onto the top of my desk. I always keep my water bottle on the left side and place it on top of this little flower punch needle coaster I made. Also on my desk, I have my iPad Pro, which I use to draw and design everything I make. And for my computer, I use a MacBook Pro that sits on a cute little wooden stand that I got from Target, which is connected to my Samsung M8 smart monitor. And I can't forget to mention my mini Winnie plush. He's just so cute and I love glancing at him while I work. Continuing across my desk, I have some more adorable figurines that I've collected. And of course I have my Switch here. I love playing games like Animal Crossing, New Horizons, and Overcooked to unwind after a long day's work. To the right of my desk is my boyfriend's desk, and underneath it I've got a second set of drawers where I store all of my traditional art supplies like paints, inks, colored pencil, clay, and crayons. And in here I also keep the supplies for my button maker. Lastly, I have my Cricut and button press which sit on top of my first tiny little desk. As you can see, it's fairly small, and it's amazing to think that this is where it all started. And that concludes my studio tour. I love seeing how others set up their workspace, so I'm especially happy to share what mine looks like and the thought that went into it. From my humble beginnings with a tiny desk to my dream desk setup, the journey has been something that I am grateful for. I love that I've created a workspace that fuels my passion for art and boosts my productivity. If you enjoyed this video and have found it helpful or interesting, please leave me a like, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Additionally, don't forget to subscribe for more art-related videos, and if you want to further support me and my small business, please consider taking a look at my shop. The link is in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!